Hi, good afternoon. Welcome to Children's BBC TGIF. You know what that stands for by now, don't you? Thank goodness it's Friday. Now, I'd just like to point out this now. It's not that I keep things in my box for a long... I have my transmission box down here. My, it's my on-air box. It's looking a bit ratty now, but not that things haven't been in here for a while. But look what's at the bottom. I've just found this. Would you look at that? <laughs> this apple has been in this box for about four weeks. Yes, take it away, please, Wilson. It's quite revolting. Sorry about that. I just thought I'd share that with you, you know, not that, like, your letters stay at the bottom of the box or anything. You know, like, Thursdays is um, Children's BBC Brian the Tomato Plant Day. And then way, way, way back when it was on the air, we used to converse live with Children's BBC's favourite gardening pin-up boy, Johnny Thirlwell. Do you remember Johnny Thirlwell? Do you remember Johnny Thirlwell, Wilson? Johnny's niece has written to me. She's written to me. Me. It says, Dear Andy Crane, my, my Uncle John. She's on such familiar terms with a big star. My Uncle John used to speak to you on Gardener's Direct Line. He mentioned me and my sunflowers. By the way, how's Brian? Well, he was on yesterday. He's now the father of many tomatoes, and he's doing very well indeed, thank you. Here's some badges for you and Ed. One there says Ed on it, which is great. And one with my name on it. And, and a friendship band for Wilson, it says. It might brighten up the old black and white. So if you want to... Can you slip into that, Wilson? What do you think? I think it's quite nice, because it's, it's fluorescent, it's really hip this summer, you know, it's very rad to have a flu... But then again, Wilson wouldn't know something hip and rad if it hit him in the face. On the Waterfront, revisited at 4.35 this afternoon, thank you, is followed at 5 o'clock by News Round, and at 5 past 5, the lowdown is all about three kids who run their own school. All those things still to come after the puppy's further adventures. During our world... Thirteen-year-old Michael Maudsley runs his own school, or at least attempts to, in the lowdown this afternoon at five past five. Before that news round, but now we revisit on the waterfront. A message from the flesh and blood. <clears throat> Hello, <laughs> <On the water. laughs> Terrific. Uh, news of tomorrow's up to you live from Manchester from Tony Doughty is still to come. Tony will follow news round, which is presented this afternoon by Helen Rollison. The Hillsborough Football Wow, thank you, Helen. Trey Flash. I want special effects like that, Wilson. Can you book them, please? Now, for news of tomorrow morning's up to you, we journey to Manchester to the nation's other slightly bigger broom cupboard and Tony Doughty. Cheers, Andy. Tomorrow at 8.30, we have a mega show. We have a bumper edition, European style. Uh, Charlotte and the Overture team have gone to Aberdeen to see whether we should have a United States of Europe. Maybe we've already got a link. Anthea's gone down to the Channel Tunnel to see if she can see France with a roving eye. Jenny catches baseball in New York and also um, Hamish's travels, Mark Goodyear's music mission. Can I get this to work? Play. We have uh, Wendy James and Transvision Vamp live on the satellite from Australia. Our pause button has got stuck. Don't forget, we also have you on the phones. We'll catch you tomorrow at 8.30. Andy. Thank you, mate. And speaking of the phones, the results of this morning's ozone video vote. Uh, latest flame, 11%. Diesel Park West, 14%. FM, 22%. But with 53% of the vote, big fun will be the uh, ozone choice on the nation's choice on tomorrow morning's Up To You at 8.30. Now then, there are subtitles on 888 for this. This is the lowdown and somebody's taken over a school. Fantastic, yeah. Join again. Um, it's very good of you, Si. And um, I would just like to point out at this point that some of the things that Michael and his team introduced at Redbrook are still going on, like the library is still open at lunch times. It is, I'm very impressed because no, no, no. we sat here and he said, is it a prologue or a suffix or a something? Epilogue, And then whatever. didn't even and mention it. I just covered myself by not using it at all. Teachers still do not eat during the lessons and they still have to park their cars away from the bike sheds. Quite right, too. Sai, how are you? I'm all right, thank you. How are you? Good of you to pop in. Listen, are you responsible for all this green nonsense, by Well, the yes, way? you see, we thought that what we do is, while we're in on Monday, is try and make the place look a little bit more like BFT so that we were at home. We have However, plans. Tragically, it looks a bit like a snooker table. We have oh. plans to get even closer to BFT. We're gonna, I've heard these rumours. I've heard gonna, these rumours. We're going to try and get nearer your BFT satellite. Impossible. Maybe Impossible. a little later. Doreen sent us a postcard as well, look. Didn't, Dear Andy and all my one. friends on BFT... Oh, that'll be us then. That's ..have been trying to ring you for days but can't seem to get through. It is a bit of a shame, isn't it? You must have given me the incorrect number. Well, she's, the thing is, Doreen's the one that answers the phone, so presumably That's she presumably why she can't get, get through. Yeah. It's plug time. It is, yes. On Sunday morning at um, 20 to 12 on BBC One, there's a programme called Step by Step. Basically, it's all about getting into the music business. Please, but have a quick look at this. I'll tell you more in a sec. <laughs>
really want is ultimately the, the goal everybody wants to, to, to get. It's uh, the country's biggest radio station. When it comes to TV, they're actually seeing it being performed or on a promo or whatever. So the visual aspect is very, very important. How do you get into the biz? Who do you talk to? Find out Sunday morning, 20 to 12. What on earth is that? It's the countdown, Sai. Si. It's the countdown. Is this it? Witness, we are, we are hopefully going to launch, or launch ourselves now into orbit to join you at the BFT satellite. I don't think... How's the view looking? Well, we seem to be into space. It's... it's look. Oh, look! Oh, it's the I can see the world! We're there! We're in, we're in space! Good news. So hopefully, between now and Monday morning, we will have managed to successfully dock with the BFT satellite. Have you got a like, little... Well, we haven't got a docking thing. Well, you better build one. You well, better, better get on you the better build then. one pretty quickly because yeah. the afternoon. Do you know Blue Peter's phone number? That's yeah, maybe they, they, maybe they can make some a, 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 a washing up liquid a sticky bottle, back yes. plastic and a washing up liquid bottle. Hopefully, we will have connected with BFT, but they will be back nine o'clock on Monday morning. Have a very nice weekend. Up to you, eight thirty tomorrow. We will see you Monday. Yes, we're covering you. Just get the ship and let's get out of here. <laughs> The ship's empty. Not quite empty. Space Raiders scavenge the galaxy. Tonight, 7.40, BBC One. Will you take me home now? Now, here on BBC One, with subtitles on 888, it's time to journey to Australia, which is around about here for neighbours. Neighbours. <laughs>